Welcome back to Minecraft 1.17. Today's snapshot contains a few decorative blocks for the lush cave biome, some of which which were previously revealed and some which are brand new. Stay tuned. By the way, we're nearly 30% of the way to 5,000 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe before we hit that insane milestone. Our first new feature are the azalea bushes. In the real world, these are flowering bushes found in lowland and montane forests across the northern hemisphere. They are colorful, which adds bits of contrast that have been missing from caves. They also have a flowering version with the actual flowers showing. The next features are the cave vines. They grow from the ceiling and have a chance of producing glow berries. These berries are both edible and a light source. Foxes also eat them, similar to sweet berry bushes. The berries can be planted to make new vines, and as you saw, bone reeling vines create berries. And the biggest feature of this update, the drip leaf block. They only grow on clay or underwater, and the small ones grow when bone reeled. When bone reeled again, it grows even taller. Here's where the special feature comes in. If you stand on it, it will tilt you off after a little while. This is a game changer for parkour, as it makes the timing of your jumps so much more important. It will reset after a little bit so you can try again. Another cool feature is that they break when shot with arrows and can be bought from wandering traders. Two more blocks, moss blocks. We've had mossy cobble for nearly a decade, but we just now we have moss. It's what you'd expect, it's a green block with a green texture. <laughs> there are also moss carpets similar to regular carpets. Uh, these would be a good substitute for grass. Another decoration is the spore blossom, which is a large flower which generates in cave ceilings. It has a slight particle effect, which is great for decoration. And there are two final blocks, the rooted dirt and hanging roots blocks. They add, a, they add an extra feeling of nature extending into the caves and are just all around nice for atmosphere. A couple of smaller changes, stone cutters now work with copper, drowns drop copper instead of gold, and flaming arrows are extinguished by snow. Also, skeletons can be frozen into strays similar how to how zombies drown into drowns. Now for some extra news. Developers said the biome as a whole, that being the lush caves, would be available quote soon and also confirmed that azalea blocks will generate as full trees in a future snapshot. I guess the biome will be generating in snapshot world sometime in this month but that is not confirmed. Anyway that's about it, thanks for watching. By the way, YouTube sometimes unsubscribes people so you just check to make sure you're still subscribed, it would mean so much. Anyway, see ya.